Sorry about that, guys. My pillow fell off. <clears throat> hello, YouTube fans. This is Dust Girl Clown. Um, hello, YouTube fans. This is Dust Girl Clown. I want to talk about something. And I've been knowing this for quite a while. But people are starting to pick this up. Howard the Duck. Without Howard the Duck. Without that movie. Without the Howard the Duck movie. Without that horny, drinking, smoking duck. We wouldn't have Pixar. I, You guys know how I feel about Howard the Duck. I love that movie. I loved it as a kid. Still love it as an adult. Does it have flaws? Of course it does. But it is... It's quite a, a ride and when people bash this movie i'm only here like there's way worse movies out there than this movie the fact that you're bashing this movie just tells me that hey let me put you in a corner somewhere and watch the movie that the movies that i watched are completely crap and all better i mean and this is better than the, than the shit that i've watched seriously but some people might be like oh but that doesn't mean anything really people think how the duck is shit are you kidding me I say how the duck is like a wet blanket compared to a fucking piece of shit. To be honest with you, what you're going to use that wet knack? You're going to use that wet napkin to pick up the shit? Are you stupid? That wet napkin can actually be used to clean something else, a surface, maybe your table, <laughs> maybe your chair, maybe your face, or maybe your hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> Uh, when COVID happened, wash your hands. <laughs> but I watched the Howard the Duck movie again not that long ago with my friend. It still holds up. It still holds up. Lee Thompson is fucking hot in this movie. She is the peakness of hotness in this movie. All right. And there's a little point when when she's getting dragged by the villain and they're going to the science lab. And she's kicking and all that stuff. And if you pay close attention, especially if you have the HD version of Howard the Duck, because I have it, I have the um 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 four K collection and then the regular DVD, um the regular um um Blu Ray one. I got two of them, but pay attention between her legs. They knew what, what they knew what this franchise came from. They knew. What the original source of Howard the Duck came from. I've always heard that the creator didn't mind the movie, but he wished that Howard the Duck didn't wear pants. Because he didn't wear pants in the movie. I mean, in, in the books. In the comic books. And the comic books are so fucking goddamn beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. It's so fucking beautiful. There's people out here that reviewed the, the Octavia collection of Howard the Duck, the original ones, and some people have pointed out most likely, Steve Gerber, I think that's his name, the guy that created Howard the Duck, they mentioned that he probably was on some type of um, S, um some type of um drugs when he was making this. Because the drawing in the art style has no reason to be good as it is inside that comic book. That shit came out in the 70s, and it looks that good? Those comic books rival comic books nowadays, because nowadays comic books don't look like that anymore. They don't look like that anymore. They're not hand drawn and shit like that. They they put everything on fucking computers now and then print it out. That's not that's not authentic. Not to say there's not comic books that are still not like that. Of course there is, but some of them are not, man. Some of them are just manufactured, which is sad. It's fucking sad. Remember when comic books actually? Remember when comic books actually used real fucking goddamn paper to draw in? Stupid concept. Stupid concept. But this movie, man, this movie changed the game for a lot of things. Sure, we bombed in the box office, but how in the duck just proves just because you bombed in the box office does not mean you cannot be relevant or change the game in the future. Most people might be like, oh, the reason, you know, um, the reason we got Pixar is because George Lucas, he lost a lot of money, he lost his house, and then he sold um, his animation studio to Steve Jobs and shit like that. And? You're gonna you're gonna say that this movie failed, and 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 George Lucas failed, but then Steve Jobs what? All he did was grab Pixar. Pixar was already made. He just changed the name. 
Stupid concept, right? And then he sold it to Disney. So still going back, without How the Duck, we wouldn't have Pixar. Because George Lucas gave it to Steve Jobs. Of course, of course, George Lucas needed the money, but to be quite honest, did he really needed the money? This is the guy that created Star Wars. He didn't need the money. He didn't need the money. Stop saying that he needed the money. No, he didn't. If someone's, if he, if, if the horse's mouth says that he needed the money too, it's still a lie. You mean to tell me one of the biggest franchises of all time? You didn't, you didn't see a cent of it? Not in merchandise and, and t-shirts and all of that shit? Bullshit. Bullshit. You saw some type of fucking revenue with that Star Wars shit. Don't fucking lie to me, George. Don't fucking lie to me, George Lucas. All right? You, you, you can, hey, you can, you can have fun with your Star Wars fans and all that shit. But when it comes to me lying about this shit, lying about how the duck, don't fuck with me with this. Because even George Lucas himself likes this movie. He likes this movie. He's like, yeah, it bombed, but it's going to get a call following. Watch. And it did. It did. My mom loves it. My sisters love it. I love it. The reason I haven't showed my, my niece, you know, because around, she was like, what was it? She's like eight years old. That was like around the time I started this movie. But I'm not, but she's not seeing this movie yet until she hits like teenager-ish. Because, I mean, my parents were different. We grew up in a different era. You know, uh, I, I watched so many hard stuff that I saw naked boobs and shit. I saw tits and everything. So, but but still, uh, if you are going to watch this movie, watch it first and, and have your perspective of like, maybe should I show this to my kids? Should I not? You know, and yes, yeah, some jokes will go over their head, like the condom scene, basically. Um, but how with the duck in this movie, man? He's a ladies man. He is, you know, a sex appeal. Some guys got it. Some guys don't, you know, <laughs> it's true, man. Some guys got it. Some guys don't. <laughs> All right. You got to got that. You have to have that confidence. What do you think in the movie when the, when the, when, um, Beverly's um, friends see Howard, they're like, <laughs> like they already know him. <laughs> it's so weird, but yet I love it because there's no, what can you explain that hasn't been explained throughout the whole movie? Ah, oh, look, typical Harris 8. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the jokes in this movie are, are fucking hilarious and good. They're good. They're really good. And remember, How the Duck is a parody of all these um superhero movies. So the fact that this movie parodied all these other superhero movies that came before this one, says a lot. And you know what? It did a good job. It did a good job parodying it. It was supposed to make fun of it. And it's not supposed to take itself seriously. It's never supposed to take itself too seriously. It is kind of political a little bit. It is. It is. Because even Steve Gerber, uh, um, hope, hopefully I'm saying his name right. The guy that created Howard the Duck, he was very political. He was. Not because he was trying to get his, oh, I'm um, um, left and right. He, no, he, he literally did not give a fuck about none of that shit. That's why he created Howard the Duck to be like, oh, fuck society. Um, fuck uh. uh um, fuck these uh, politics, fuck the government and shit like that. How the duck was like that, man? But these modern comic books of How the Duck, they don't do that. Why is it so hard for you not to do that? Do you feel like you would disrespect the creator because you didn't do it as good as he could do it? You kind of already disrespected him anyways by still making comic books about the character, you dumbass. And you're still kind of disrespecting him, too, when you see Howard in these Disney movies, like Guardians of the Galaxy and What If, and he's still wearing pants. I'm glad that he's in it. I'll, I'll go, every time I see Howard the Duck in any of these fucking live-action or animated uh, modern Disney movies of, of Marvel, I'll go ape shit. Alright? There was, there was rumors that he was supposed to show up in She-Hulk, which would have made fucking sense. Because, to, to be quite honest, I always thought, you know... Howard the Duck and She-Hulk kind of like a thing. Uh, that's just me. I, I mean, you mean to tell me he's not going to pound that shit? I would. Oh, <laughs> you'd be stupid if you're not going to try to get with She-Hulk. <laughs> you know? It's like it's like, it's it's like not trying to get with freaking um, um, Black Widow or Scarlet Witch. You'd be stupid not to do that. Or, or, or everyone's favorite, um, the Phoenix. 
Why wouldn't you? Oh, oh, no, somebody else's, no, no, everyone else's favorite, Rogue. Ah. Uh, don't get me started on Rogue. Don't get me started on her. Good God. She is the definition of impregnating white food material, keeping her for the rest of your life. That She is the definition of that. Seriously. Seriously, because she's just hot as fuck. But, um... But it is cool that we do see the character Beverly nowadays, but I think they changed her look to make her look... I don't know what... I think they changed her look for a few times and all that stuff, but the original version of Beverly just leave her the way that she is. You know? Just a normal chick that... Hey, you, hey, if you wanted to, you could pay your money to the movie. A normal chick that's trying to get by, and she's in a rock man. And it is funny, because when I was watching the movie, too, when Howard um, talks to Beverly's agent and shit like that, and, took, and takes the money away from him, you would think there'd be that conversation of, like, why you did that? Like, I didn't ask you to do that, you know? But then Howard would have been like, no, he was trying, he was going to take advantage of you, Bev. And, you know, and that could have been something great, you know? But they, did they need that to happen? Mm, not really. How would the duck, Howard himself, he defended her. He was just like, fuck this motherfucker. And he, he kicked his ass, <laughs> you know? That's what I love about Howard the Duck, man. Howard is literally, when you really think about it, he is like Donald. He's calm, collective, but if you mess with him, he will get angry. And that's why a lot of people don't like to have the comparison of him and Donald and, sh and shit like that. But I'm like, well, I'm sorry. Both of them have an attitude problem, and both of them could be scared as hell. They could be goofballs and also they can be literally uh what is it the most not not not, not the most boring character but the most um uh, what is it character that doesn't want to do anything like he he's a Howard the duck is that type of character that will run away from a fight he would not fight you but if he has to fight he will fight that's the type of char character Howard the duck is and that's more relatable that's really relatable that's just me man that really is just me see you to this day man People still talk shit about this character. Why? There's people that talk shit about this character all because they only saw the movie. It's, it's, it goes to double for the people that work at Marvel when they're making a Spider-Man show and then they see how the duck and Spider-Man's like, oh, that's too goofy out there for me. And I'm over here like, you're stupid, bro. Get the fuck away from me. Not my Spider-Man. Not my Spider-Man. No, seriously. You're wearing tights, my bro. People would literally see you as gay, to be quite honest with you. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I'm surprised you can actually produce kids with those tight pants. I'm dead serious. You guys never done your studies on why they have tight pants? <laughs> it's like having fucking um, undies instead of boxers. You guys gotta realize this shit. My God. You guys are just going to do something just because it's out there? You guys got to question what's out there. You guys got to question, why are they making these type of pairs of pants or, or, or anything? That's just a fucking throw, uh, something to throw out there, man. You guys need to think about this shit, man. Because if you're not thinking, you, then, then what's the fucking point? You're just dying. You're dying. And you're not learning shit, you're just dying. That's not the way to live. Well, that's another that's another um discussion for another day. Overall, the whole thing with Howard the Duck starting Pixar is amazing. Remember, you know how it all started with a mouse. Well, to be honest, they all started with a rabbit. So Walt Disney's lying to you about that shit. But um, it all with Pixar, it all started with a duck. It all started with a duck. Now, you could look at past George Lucas films and look at his animation studio and be like, actually, this is the false one instead of Howard, you know? But if Howard was, if Howard the Duck was successful, would we got, would we have gotten Pixar? I don't think we wouldn't. I don't think Pixar wouldn't exist if Howard the Duck the movie succeeded. And yo, the original designs, I, I like the way Howard looks sometimes in this movie. Um, especially when he has, when he's at the bar, he looks great. The lighting effects on him and everything like that, he looks good. He looks like a real life duck. It's fucking awesome. But in other places, you can tell it's a person in a suit, you know? Um, but.
But but that that alone was just good though. But the original design for Howard the Duck guys, it was gonna be a hand puppet. It was gonna be a hand puppet. And it looked it awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But they took it out. They took it out. It was sad. Originally this movie was gonna be animation also, but it would have took too long to come out. And people thought, especially back in the eighties, that animation was just for kids. So even though at that time we still had animation movies that were not for kids at all. So they were like, eh, let's just make this live action. And plus it would have took way too long to, to make this movie. They could have made uh, they could have made they could have paid reference to Who Framed Roger Rabbit in this movie. Like how it could have been the only one that's a cartoon and everything is all real. It's including the alien, the alien stop motion. So, you know. Um I still would have loved to see the original design for Howard because that original design for Howard is spot on to the comic book. It is night and day, guys. Night and fucking day. All right? Let me look it up right here right now. All right? The original design for Howard the Duck. It, 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 it's beautiful, guys. It's a beautiful fucking picture. All right. Oh, wait. Hold on. That one. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. So, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Look at the detail on that shit, bro. That shit is beautiful. And then we have this. Look at that, bro. Look at that, guys. That is what we could have gotten in the movie, but we didn't. And that's fine. But good God, guys, that shit looked awesome. Really, really cool. There's another one here. Hold on. Look at that. Look at this, guys. This shit is awesome. I, I would love to see this come back again, man. Seriously, someone in Disney or in Marvel needs to look at this and be like, yo, we need to use this design. We need to use this design. We have to. We just fucking have to. Seriously. Don't the, the design that they have for Howard now, I to be quite honest, I'm not a big fan of. To be quite honest. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of the Howard the Duck design that that Disney approved and shit like that. See, if it looked it more like this, I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it all that much. I would have thought I, I would literally would have been like, yo, that is Howard as I live and breathe. You know? But um they didn't made him that way. And the and the and the they didn't make them that way, sadly. They didn't. But, um... Let, let's see. How are the duck in... I put galaxy. They know. I mean, you, um, Google would know. This is one of his... This, oh, actually, I could just show off the picture here. This is uh his designs... In the um, Marvel um, Cinematic Universe, which is fine. I mean, I don't like. I mean, I don't hate the look a hundred percent. I know. Uh, I, I remember showing my friend that one. He's like, "Good God, what the fuck happened to him? It's Roadkill." <laughs> Yo, to me, I think this one is a little bit more accurate. But these two are like, uh eh? It's like Disney saw. It's like Disney saw his design and they're like, make him less Donald Duck. And that and that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That's really fucked up. It really is. That's really fucked up. And then in the last Guardians movie, you see him like this. You know? So they always change in his design because they can't fucking make up their fucking goddamn minds of what they want him to look like. Just stick to the original design, you fucking pricks. Disney, you own the character. So, no one's not going to be like, oh, is that Donald Duck? Really? A guy with a trench, a guy with a fucking trench coat hat and a trench coat smoking a cigar. You're going to say that's Donald Duck. You're going to see a duck character that's smoking a cigar, cigar that does look like Donald, but it's not Donald, but you're going to say it's Donald? Especially if he doesn't sound like Donald? Even in this movie, they made fun of the fact that Oh, maybe he talks like Donard, <laughs> and and Howard in the movie is just like one of um um us great um great minds here. It really is. It's true. And then the and then the science guy is like, whoa, 
And, and um, Beverly is just like, don't insult him. He's just as smart as you and me. I'm like, exactly. It fucking exactly. I, yo, I love this movie, bro. I fucking love this movie. It shows everything, too, if we got um, crossed with other extraterrestrial beings, which we have. It's just that these government people won't say anything. Because it ruins people's religion. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry that your religion dies just by knowing there's other species in other planets. You dumb fucking shit. Go fuck yourself. Oh, do you need to know the, the law of Jesus and the law of the church? Man, go fuck yourself. You think anyone out there fucking gives a fuck about your fucking goddamn religion out there in space? Out there on another fucking planet? No, they don't. Fuck you. Seriously, that's why South Park made fun of that shit. Oh, uh, but you need to join th this. Uh, okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Even the people that created South Park knows that's bullshit and stupid. Come on, guys. We need to be smart here. We can't be this dumb. We can't be this dumb. You know? So overall, this duck has changed a lot for people. We wouldn't guy in Pic we wouldn't guy in Pixar that we wouldn't guy in Toy Story Coco. All right, we wouldn't guy in The Incredibles, and we wouldn't guy in Finding Nemo. All these Pixar movies we wouldn't gotten without this freaking awesome duck, man. Seriously, do you guys know that he has powers of the Nexus? Do you know that? Some of you guys don't know that. Of course you don't. Why would you? Even in the movie, though. The movie pointed the Nexus stuff out. They didn't say how it had the Nexus powers, but they did point out the Nexus. You know why? Because Nexus is inside his own body. You know why? Because he came from another world to here. And it doesn't matter. Look, look. The original... Look. Steve Gerber... They never, um, the creator of um, Howard the Duck, he never wanted Howard to live in a duck ward. Which, yes, that makes sense. He, Because if you watch the original um, Howard the Duck, um, in one of the episodes of Man Thing, I believe, he's with all these fantasy characters. He's with, he's with a fucking sexy-ass chick right next to a fucking He-Man character. And Man Thing is right next to him and shit like that. How the duck is not part of a duck ward. He's part of a, of, a, of a Final Fantasy ward. He's part of a Dragon Quest ward. He is. He's part of a Lord of the Rings ward. He is. He's part of that whole Cthulhu mythology, all that. He's in that shit. He's a part of that shit. That's his ward in the comic books. But apparently, we can't get that now. That's why when, when I heard Man Thing was happening... Like a TV show of it, right? Or something that Disney was doing? I'm all like, there's no excuse now to not have Howard the Duck. There is no excuse. Because he's from the same fucking comic. And then eventually he branched out and got his own comic. Because he was that famous. People liked him that much. And he was just a one-off character. You see how one-off... You know, you see how this character is so ingrained into Marvel and people still don't give him the light of day. That's bullshit. If Spider-Man gets the light of day, if Wolverine gets the light of day, how the duck needs to get the light of day? Alright? If Squawger gets the light of day, this duck needs to get the light of day. Some people be like, who the fuck is Squawger? Yeah, I know. Can you believe it? Some people don't even know that. Hell, I, I knew, I, I didn't knew about her until like, what, like, like, like five years ago? Not even five years ago, like, I'll say almost like ten years ago. But a lot of people right here, a lot of people still to this day don't know who Score Girl is. They'll be like, who is that? They'll be like, oh, she's a Marvel character. And people will be like, what? The fuck? Some people think that she's a stupid character just because of her name. I don't think that way, though. I'm sure she's an awesome character, you know? But... It just has to be said that sometimes, uh, the, not just the general people, that's different. The general people don't know a lot of things. Some, some of the people, some of the general people don't know themselves. They don't know, the general people, the general people out, out there in the public, some of them don't know themselves. 
but they can tell you, you know, how to uh, work their job, but they can tell you, you know, how to fix a car, but they can never tell you who they are. <laughs> At least how the duck knows he, who he is, you know, but, um, I, I just want another Howard the Duck movie. Um, obviously the, the, obviously the guy that was in the suit of Howard in the original movie, he's, uh, he, he's a mock sex offender now. Mock sex child offender. And by the way, he was also in the suit of Chucky in the first Child's Play movie. So the guy that brought Chucky to life in the first movie, and the guy that brought Howard the Duck in the in the first movie, is now a convicted pedophile. <laughs> Hollywood people, Hollywood, don't you love it? <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. How do you guys? How will you feel of a modern Howard the Duck movie? You think Disney will actually give the proper respect for it? From the comic books, or would Disney be like, "No, we're gonna turn this down a bit for our needs," which they shouldn't. They shouldn't. How the, I'm not saying how the duck is violent and all that stuff. No, but there's sex, drinking, and smoking. Those three things right there is a no-no for Disney. You think blood is a no-no for Disney? They show blood sometimes in Disney movies, actually. To be quite honest, not all the time, but when it happens, you'd be like, "Oh shit." Disney, <laughs> but sex, alcohol, and cigarettes, smoking, that's out of the picture. Well, they're more lenient on the whole, you know, drinking and smoking now, you know, instead of a beer, it's a martini. To me, I think that's worse. <laughs> I don't know, you switching Howard the Duck with a martini instead of a beer, I don't know, I just think that's way worse. I mean, I think that's cool. I'm glad Howard is drinking a martini. But you thinking that it's going to be less um, less hurtful just to put a martini in and shit like that? But like, nah, apparently you guys had a few martinis when you're making this shit. <laughs> Seriously. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> if I was making a Howard the Duck movie, I would do all the drugs in the world and get drunk. And write that script and, ha and go golf all out. Obviously, do your research on Howard the Duck. Like, I will grab the comic book and read through all of that shit. That's what Disney needs to do, man. If they want to do a proper Howard the Duck movie, they need to read the comic books. Now, look, it could be possible that they just want to do the, the Lee Thompson version, the George Lucas version, you know? And that's fine, too. Because, uh, what is it? The Lee Thompson, she wants to make this movie. She wants this movie to come out. She wants to make another uh, Howard the Duck movie. You know, um, it is possible her daughter might be there. She might be, she might replace, she might become Beverly, which will make sense because she looks like her mom, but I don't know if she's done acting any or anything. So I wouldn't known. I wouldn't known. I mean, I could look it up right now. Uh, I just don't want this video to be too long. How, how long is this? Uh, hold on. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. We can find out. We could find out if she's ever been doing acting or anything like that. But yeah, man, guys, tell me how you guys think about the How the Duck stuff, guys. Seriously. I I freaking love this character. I really do. I've been trying to find the original um the original action figure with him with no pants. I've been trying to find that for a long fucking time. And I know he comes in a bundle with um um with um Silver Surfer, which is kind of weird. How the duck comes in the bundle of Silver Surfer? What's the connection with that? If you guys know, let me know. What's the connection between Silver Surfer and How the Duck? I would like to know that. Is that a comic book where they cross cross paths? I think they did. I think they did. Let's see. I think they did. Let me see. Silver Surfer and How the Duck. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they they showing the toy right here. But, um, yeah, apparently, no. I don't, I don't see no comic books pop out. I've just seen the, the action figure toy. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What the hell is this one? Huh. 
to... Yo, yo, no, no. Okay, I'm going to say this right now. Since I saw this fan poster. If we all going to get a Howard the Duck movie, please, please use one of his main villains. I want Bon. Bon. I want Bon as a main villain. Not Bon, not James Bond, but Bon. Like, you know, the... Bon, yes. There's a character that Howard the Duck has. There's a villain that Howard the Duck faces, and his name is Dr. Bon. And his head is a bell. The, the, the creative shit that I'm talking about here is remarkable. And yet Disney is like, nah, we don't want to touch that. You're stupid. You're losing money. You're losing money. There's so many people out here that want a fucking live action How the Duck movie or anything about How the Duck, and yet you don't do anything. You're losing those customers. Because eventually someone's going to make another parody character that's like Donald or like Howard, and that's going to get more of a limelight. And yet you're going to be upset, Disney, that that character looks like your, one of your characters, but you can't do shit. Because it's, it's about parody. You're not going to sue somebody for parodying your character. Sorry. It's stupid. It is. It's stupid. But this fan picture right here. This fan picture right here is really, really cool. I actually like this fan picture. It, it says everything. And the actor that's right there as the, uh, Dr. Bond. You know what? Yeah. I want that. I want him as a villain. I want that actor. He's been in The Boys. He's been in a lot of shows like Breaking Bad. You know, Gus. He played Gus. Amazing actor. Amazing actor. If he played Dr. Bond as the villain for Howard the Duck, oh, yes. Because he could be intimidating and funny at the same time. Because that's what Dr. Bond is. You know? It's great, man. It's great. And he's obsessed with Beverly, obviously. You know, so that right there. There, there. You just have it right there. You know? So, that's just me. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, come on, guys. <sighs> hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, this is why they want to freaking do it, because... It would have took a while for me to freaking do this. Oh, now you want to fucking do... Now you want to freaking... Now you want to show the freaking... What, what's it called? The fucking stupid piece of fucking mic shit. Now you want to fucking use it, right? Now you want me to... Now you want to pop out. After I pressed it five times and it didn't come out. Seriously. Um. Let me go here. Come on, why are you so slow? Like, for real. Can't be that slow. What? Wait a minute. What? Huh, I did not notice that. The the, the woman from Mary with Children. She was in How the Duck. Was she a background character? Nah, I, I would have noticed. I would have noticed if she was in the movie. The fuck? She had to be a background character then. She had to be. She had to be a background character. I, I don't know. But, um... I, I, I don't know. But, uh, let's see. Is it? Is it the one? Yes, it is. Her name is Zoe. I think I think that's the one I was talking about, Zoe. No, I think that's the other one. I don't think it's not. Oh no, 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 it's Zoe. <laughs> uh, I mean they both could be at the they both could be in the How the Duck movie, I don't care. But um yeah, her her daughter could be in the movie. Hold on, hold on. Again oh, come on man. Come on. Let me scroll fucking down. So, apparently she has done acting. Yes, she has. Okay, she... Oh, okay. Okay, I remember that movie. Why him? Yeah, I actually remember that movie. Uh, it came out in 2016. Yeah, that makes sense. She was in Zombieland? 
Wait. She was in Zombieland Double Tap? I, I need to see that movie again. So, okay, she's done a few stuff. Getting her credentials and stuff like that. Damn. Damn, woman. Lee Thompson's daughter. I'll just say this right now. That picture that you posted from uh from for the movie Flower? Yeah. Um that's not a that's not a porn picture waiting to happen or anything. <laughs> okay, I'll just stop here right now. So <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I hope you enjoy my little discussion of Howard the Duck. I fucking love the character. I love him like Batman. I love him like Spider Man. I love him like I love him like he was one of my own characters that I made in my own game. I freaking like this character. I don't want to see more and more and more of him. Seriously. As the years have gone on, the more I want to see this guy. The more I want to see this character. Now, some people might be like, well, you got to tell Disney that. Buy the merchandise. Buy all of this stuff of Howard the Duck. Just to tell Disney we want more of him. And you know what? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't do it in a room like this, but hey, if I get a bit when I move out and I get a bigger place, yeah, definitely. You know, I fucking want an arcade machine for kind of. I want, I want the Simpsons arcade machine in my in my future house that that's in the freaking future living room. <laughs> Anyways, um, I see you guys. Um, tell me what you guys think about how the duck. Do you like him? Do you hate him? Do you think he's misunderstood? You think the people that just watched the movie really don't know the depths of this character? I haven't read the comic books yet. I have like one or two comic books of Howard the Duck. But other than that, you already know the character how he is just by reading the comic book. One, uh, one of the comic books. And the reason I mentioned Dr. Bond is because I have that comic book. Hold on. 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 Let me be quiet in the video. Can't, can't say I have it without me showing it to you. Damn, I got a lot of comic books here. Holy shit. Ugh. I'll just show you all my comics, actually. Before I end this off, show you my comics that I have here. So the first one, this comic's inside of comics here. So uh, I'm not going to show you everything, obviously. So for a footnote here, this is probably one of my first comic books I ever owned. Yeah, yeah, and you wonder why I was so hyped to see um, Wolverine and Deadpool. Once I saw that scene in the trailer, I'm all like, please don't hold out on me. But you know what? They kind of did, but at the same time, they still made it up with Wolverine and Deadpool. But still, I want to see this movie. How can you not? So, and then this one, what is it? Avengers uh, West Coast. Remember that one? I think, they, I think they're going to make a whole series about these guys. But, uh, I made my own little comic book a long time ago. <laughs> this one is called Pac-Man vs. Pac-Rabbit. <laughs> but, uh, under that, it's, uh, what is it? It's, uh, oh, it's Spawn. It's Spawn. And I think this is kind of broken, isn't it? Uh, no. Oh, no. Wait, that's Spawn. And I got a Holy Quinn one. So, there was that. And then this one... They need to make a movie of this, to be quite honest with you. They really do need to make a movie of this. Batman and Spawn. I actually I, I actually did lie to you guys here. Holy shit. These two, these two comic books right here, were actually my very first comic books. And then it was this one. And then I got these uh, Spider-Man ones that I will show you too. Not this one, but another one. Um, this, this comic book is good. It's really good. It came with a poster, but I love this cover even more. Look at that cover. That is a tattoo, baby. That is a very, that's a beautiful tattoo and a beautiful artwork picture right there, baby. Seriously. This one is called Spawn and Batman. While the other one's called Batman and Spawn. Uh, way to way to confuse the readers. But, yo, the art illustration for this move, for this comic book is good. Well, hold on, hold on. I haven't read the comic book in a long time. But I do remember how it ends and stuff like that. Trust me, Batman and Spawn are not best friends. They are not. You think they're going to be buddy buddy and shit like that? <laughs> no, they hate each other. They fucking hate each other. All right. Look at this. 
Look at this. Spawn says something to Bat, right? I haven't looked at this comic book in years. Look how beautiful it is in the detail of it. Batman throws a Batarang at his face. He throws he throws a Batarang at Spawn. And look at this. This is the final page. Look at that shit. This shit is awesome and epic, bro. That is how you end a comic book. You're like, what the fuck? What happens next? <laughs> I, if there is a continuation of this, let me know. Because, good God, man. Good God. I remember when I first saw this on comic book, at a comic book convention, and uh, the guy is like, oh, it comes with two comic books, and it's, um, and I think he gave it to me um, in, a half, in a half price, because I think this was like about 20 maybe 50 or $30, and I spent like 15 bucks on this shit. Actually, no, look at that. It says three bucks. <laughs> uh, so originally, I guess they were selling it for three bucks or some shit. But um, here's this one. There is a there is a series about this. I haven't um got the whole series of it, but this particularly comic book alone, this one right here, is really good. It's a it's a good read. I haven't got the other ones of it, but this one's really good. I mean, look how Hawk looks like, man. I've always been a big fan of the Grey Hawk, to be quite honest with you. Um, I don't hate the Green Hulk. I don't. But the Grey Hawk is so iconic. So com comic book iconic. How can you, like, not make m not make a movie of that, you know? And, oh, and this was another part of it, too. Do I have video? Okay. These two comic books, I have this a long, long... Well, they're not really comic books. They're more like, um... What's it called? They're more stats of a character and their personalities and their history of a, of a, other characters and shit like that. So, here's one of Spider-Man. And I think this is the second one, right? No, 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 no. Never mind. This is Spider-Man with all the his own, um, with all the villains and everything like that in there and stuff like that. And, you th and I think this is Mary Jane. Look at Mary Jane on top of Doc Ock's um, um, tentacle there. Someone was into that. Someone was like, yo, we're gonna put some tentacle hand tie in this cover. <laughs> Uh, and behind that is the very first um, Iron Man comic book. You know? The Invincible Iron Man. You know? Really good comic book. Really good comic book. Really good read. Again, there's other comic books in here. That just... One day, I'll make a video about it, guys, about this. I just want to show it off. Since I was talking about How the Duck. I never got the first one of this. But I have seen the first one. But this is the second one that I've owned. Uh, I got these two at the same time. At, at a uh, at the at the book club at, at the school when I was like at sixth or seventh grade, so yeah, I've been having these for a long, a long time. <laughs> so let's get started here. Uh oh yeah, I still want to get this slapstick. Guys, do not sleep on this character. Do not sleep on this character. I want to get more of these comic books. This, I think this is the final one. This is the final final one. I think. But this cover is amazing. Look at that. It's a Disney princess with a sword and then holding slapstick, um, Slapstick's um, head. And most people are like, wouldn't he be dead? Ah, that's the thing. He's a clown and he has Toon Force. Pretty awesome, right? So this is the one I was talking about. Uh, yeah, it is. I was like, Dr. Bond. Here it is, guys. Look at this. I'm so proud I own this comic book right here. Look at this. This is so cool. Look at this book. Look at this, man. You, you, like, and, and look, how is, is having the um iron, iron um duck suit on? That's freaking awesome, man. That's awesome. Are you kidding me? Come on, Disney. Make a movie about this. This. You, you can make movie. You can make a movie about any how how the duck comic, but this one. If you really want to fucking get people invested, I think this one was really good. I know there's like a few parts of this too, but this one is still good. This one is still really fun to read, and it makes you want to read the other ones, you know? So, I, I love this cover. love that cover. And this one is another Howard the Duck one that um that is promoting the movie, How Howard the Duck Goes Hollywood, you know? So, yeah, <laughs> Beverly, Hills, Beverly Hills Duck. <laughs> man that's crazy i'm just looking at this the mutant uh, mass uh, massacre is coming is coming see page nine huh look at that <laughs> so th there's a lot of stuff here i got this one is another howard the duck comic book 
kind of like how this cover looks really good. And yes, it, see, the election is coming up soon, and I think we need to uh, vote for somebody else. I vote for Howard the Duck. Can we vote for Howard the Duck? Is that a thing? Can we do that? Like, if I was going to vote, I would literally put Howard the Duck's name. Seriously. Um, the other one, uh, this is also a really good one. Um, when he's hanging out with the Guardians of the Galaxy. This one's really good. I like this one, actually. This one's really, really fun. I might, I, again, I might not be a huge fan of this design, but these design, but the design of these characters? Yeah, I, I do. I do. I, I do. And then having Rocket and, uh, and um, Howard the Duck interact, that's great. And some people even say that Howard was the original Rocket. Hey, don't complain to me if you think I'm wrong. People, people say that, you know, argue with them, not me. <laughs> and then this one, I like this one really good. Getting bopped on the head and he's just seeing old people. He's like, why? <laughs> this happens to me every day. And then this one, I think, I think this is, I don't know. I, 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 I hold on. I need to read this book again, but he, here he is just chilling with, um, um, Dr. Strange. I think in this one, Doctor Strange is trying to um, bring him back to where he belongs and shit like that. Which, that's the thing, man. Like, grab this. Grab this. And grab this. And put it together. Why is that so hard? Disney, are you listening to me? Or you just don't give a fuck? Come on, guys. Come on, Marvel. You, yo, you're losing money here. You losing money. I'm saying this right now. You losing money. You losing money. And here's another one. You have you have She Hawk right here. You have Squirrel Girl right here. You have um um uh, Mr. Fantastic at that I think that's his name, right? But um yeah. I forgot what's this chick's name too. I know um she's part of the Spider family, but I totally forgot her name. The human torch is right here. And, uh, what's his name? Um, what's it? What's his name? Hawkeye is here too, but he's wearing the Captain America outfit. Before he wore the Captain America outfit. <laughs> In the live action show. So that's good. I think that's all my How Howard Duck comic books right there. So if you want to leave, you could. I'm going to um, show more of my comic books here. But, uh, yeah. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be safe, guys. Okay. Now that I went off and on with that, I know it's still the same video, but uh, I just did that for the people that, you know, want to leave and stuff like that. I have other comic books I want to show you. I've showed you this before. I don't have to show you it again. The Mask. I fucking love The Mask. I want a movie of The Mask. This version of it. Now, the Jim Carrey version, which I, 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 I love. I do. It's a special place in my heart, and I love that movie to death. But... This, I want to see in the big screen. I want to see this movie. I want to see this version of The Mask in the big screen. And I want the people that created, uh, and I want the people that made the show, The Boys, to make th this movie. Or show. Either way, I will watch it. Every season could be somebody wearing the mask. Genius. And if you, and if you don't want to do that, it could be like every episode. Keep it nice and fresh, you know? And then another one. Another mask one. So there's that. And then this is like one of the last um, Batman um, Death to the Family. Oh, the Dude 52 Batman. So I love this cover though. I love this fucking cover. It's badass. <laughs> it's kind of misleading too because you think they're going to look like this in the, com in the comics, but it's not. It's just a nice little picture thing. So I know some people are going to be like, ah, but you know, what it is. I love this movie. I got the I read the comic book, I read the comic book, and then I saw the movie because I got the movie uh, um, around the same time. And I'm like, wait a minute, I got this movie. I mean, I got the book, so I'm going to read the book. And then my friend and my sister were watching something, and then once I got re done reading the book, I was like, let's watch the movie, and we watched the movie. And they're like, how, how's the movie? Is the movie really close to the book? I'm like, it's actually pretty accurate to the book. It really is. And that movie in this book is called I Kill Giants. This move, this book 
is really fucking good. It really is. It's really good, bro. I don't want to get. I don't want to get. Um. I don't want to give away the twist because the twist is so good that it will leave you speechless for a moment, and you're gonna be like, "Holy shit." That's the biggest giant of all, you know? It, it, it's a, to me, it's a beautiful book. It's a beautiful book. It's beautifully I illustrated, you know? Look at that, you know? There's even a scene. I wish there was, I wish they had that in the movie though. Cause, cause some of the stuff that was in the, um, in the, in the movie, they, they didn't put in the movie. I mean, the stuff that was in the comic books, they didn't put in the movie. Cause this is poet. Well, uh, a girl is like bullying the main character, and no, no, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I forgot about this. She, yeah, you don't see that in the movie. Like again, the movie is really accurate to the comic book, but there's a few differences. Like for one example, she doesn't smack her teacher. What? Yeah, she smacks her teacher. She just stands up and pa, and I'm like. I just looked at the page. I'm like, oh, yeah, remember that shit. <laughs> oh, damn. I'm telling you, man. This kid is not, you know, she, she's not, she's still a kid, but good God, you know. But there was a, this, there was another point. Well, um, what's it called, man? There's another part in the movie. Uh, Well, in the book. There's a part in the book where someone is asking for change for her, right? And it's like a bully, a bully school, a bully in the school. So the bully is asking to give her whole, give her whole lunch money, right? And guess what she does? This is the same character that punched a teacher in the face, a sister in the face, a color teacher in the face. <laughs> Can't believe they got away with that. Ugh. Let's see. I'm going to find it because it's just so fucking funny, man. It is. It's so fucking funny. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. It's like, this is my table. You uh, you owe me a a, 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 a toll. Uh, give it or I'll... Uh, or all I find... Or I find I keep, basically. So, <laughs> look at this. And then look what she does. <laughs> she spits in her hand. She's like, give me the fee for sitting on this table. And she's like, keep the chains. <laughs> Does he say that? Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Keep the change. <laughs> I'm dead serious, bro. This comic book is genius. This is awesome. This book is amazing. This comic book is awesome, guys. It really is. I love the movie. I do. But this comic book, better than the movie. Better than the movie. It is. It's better than the movie. Not saying the movie's bad, but it's better than the movie. It is. It really is. So, uh, let, let's move on with that. I, I already gave my shine of day of I Kill Giants. All right. I never talked about this book in this channel a lot, but I, I think I, I, had to, I had to give it um, its due because it is well worth getting and reading all right seriously it remind it kind of reminds me of um um the guy that made scott Pilgrim versus the world he made another book called um lost at sea really really good book really good book and so mad that there's not a live action movie of it so upset if the scott Pilgrim movie did not did, did, if the scott Pilgrim movie did not fail if it made money I guarantee you, we would have had a whole bunch of series of Brian Lee O'Malley stuff as movies by Universal Studios. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. But yet, nothing. And the thing is, um, Lost at Sea is perfect for like an indie movie and all that. You, you can literally, there's literally, uh, um, someone made a, a, an indie movie of, of about that book on YouTube. You can watch it. It's free on YouTube. I remember seeing that movie a whole bunch of times. And I'm like, I'm glad there is a movie at least. There's a fan movie of um, Lost at Sea. I love that cover, though. It's just that the main character ch uh, main character chick just looking beyond, and there's, like, a desert in the background, and there's, like, a cactus. It's almost it's almost like um, 
the sp subspace highway in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, it's almost like the main character is in the subspace highway, you know? It's kind of cool how, how that is, you know? So it's almost like the universes are connected in a way, you know? So I, was, I wonder if they did pay homage to, to her in the TV series of Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. I don't know. But here's this, Infinity War. This one's really cool. It really is. This is what we should have probably gotten at the end of everything, of the whole um um Infinity War saga. That's just me. That's just me. But we can, look, we could talk about what they should have done and, sh and should have not done with the whole uh, Marvel stuff. But, you know, it is what it is. It, it is. It is what it is. Even though we could have gotten this, but, you know, we, we, we didn't. We, we, we didn't. Oh, yeah, we did. Really? Really? I, I, I don't remember Wolverine being there. I, I don't remember him being there. I, 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 then he got killed off? <laughs> I don't remember the Finn being there. I don't remember freaking, uh, 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 what is it, um, Cyclops being there. Come on, guys. Look at this picture. You think all these characters were there? No, they weren't. Come on. How can you do a proper crossover where you don't have all the characters that you need? See, this, this, this is why I never got. Oh, yeah. This is like a little space um, uh, mystery. Mysteries in space. This These comic books, actually, are actually pretty famous. I think they started back in the 70s or 80s. But um, these are very, very popular comic books that started with um, um, DC. These are very popular comic books, actually. So I am glad to have one. But the cover of it is really, really <laughs> enlightening a woman in a spaceship with a whole bunch of reptilians and shit like that. Uh, I mean, there's, uh, that's why I grabbed the cover. It just popped out at me, and I was like, yep, I'm resonating with that. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, Marvel Superhero. Um, content of Champions. I need to look at this again. When heroes um, gather. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't feel that much. I think it's just like... I think this is just like facts. It's a it's a Marvel comic limited series, so it, there's probably not a lot with it. This is probably the first one, isn't it? Yeah, it, it does say. Well, it says the day of June first. It was only sixty cents. That's how you know it's from the seventies and eighties or sixties or fifties. <laughs> but here's another one that I do need to get. But I've seen the movie so many times, so this is mostly like a little. Nice to have type of thing. The Dark Crystal. I got this because I love the fucking movie. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. I even love Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. I love the puppetry. I love everything about that movie. So I had to get at least one comic book of it. Just one, you know. And then this one has multiple C uh, multiple parts to it. This is the seventh one. And it's about Scarlet Witch. And this is not a bad comic book either. I like the cover. The cover is really nice. So moving on with that, um, wheel, um, wheels of the wards. Yeah, I, I, I need to read this comic book. Uh, I've skimmed through it, but I need to read it, man. There has to be a day that I just need to read all these comic books because some of them I have read, like, like not all of them. I, I have read like at least probably like. Uh, rip this one, rip this one, rip that one. I'll say probably I read most of them, actually. Yeah. I just haven't read some of them in a long, 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 long time. Like the Spider-Man ones and stuff like that. And the um, Spawn and Batman one, yeah. Then I remember seeing this one. I just decided to um, get it just because it looks hot and sexy. And um, I think it looks badass at the same time. I did get through it a little bit. But, um, I don't remember what happens. So, again, going back, I need to re um, reread these. But I do remember this. Oh, this one got fucked up. I got, I got this. Uh, this was given to me, but it was kind of ripped up here. So, I was just like, ah, it's not really worth anything. But it's still, um, nice to have and stuff like that. Then I have this. Promoting a movie. Comic book. At its finest. <laughs> So, I, I'm actually got, I'm glad I got this. This is really, really cool. I thought this was really cool. I wonder if there's sequels to this. Um, like, for Conor Wilde, you have 
Jean-Claude Van Damme being the cyborg. How is this not a movie? Is this a movie? He's the first hero of the 24th century. Is this a movie? Is this a movie? Because if this is not a movie... Wait a minute. Attending... Yeah, exactly. It's um, an adaptation of the hit film Cyborg coming to video stores in September 20th. So yeah, I'm right. So, I mean, the cover is awesome. I wonder if the movie cover looks like this. Either way, it looks awesome and badass. All right, seriously, let me get a little bit more up close and personal so you guys can actually see how good it looks, you know. And the final two ones here are about, obviously, why wouldn't it be? If it wasn't about, if my, if my last two comic books were not about the King of the Monsters, then why the fuck do I have the comic books to begin with? Throw them all away. No, I'm playing. <laughs> Godzilla Awakening. A lot of people hate this comic book. Mainly because it kind of retcons um, when um, Godzilla's um, um, backstory of how he was born. In this one, he was born from the planet itself. I do not know why people hate that. I can understand wanting Godzilla being this ancient creature that was before the dinosaurs and, and, and was around when the earth was, was, you know, brand new and shit like that. But I'm only here like, so you mean to tell me Godzilla wasn't just being created or being hibernated when the planet was being created? You know, I don't know why people hate that. I don't know. I do not know why. Um, I think it's a nice retcon. Yeah, it might not be a popular opinion, but I don't give a shit. I think it's a nice retcon. It is. And to be quite honest, when you look at the movies, they kind of lean to that. Not 100%. Not 100%. Because the directors and all of them, they all have different visions of, of, of Godzilla and stuff like that. And, and all these people that made the comic books too, you know? But... Uh, but some of them do look at the comic books and they be like, oh, okay. So they lean on it a little bit, but they don't go full throttle with it to the point that people are like, forget it. We just messed up this whole series and shit like that, which, no, they didn't. But I know some people have an argument with this comic book, but I love it. It has a special place in my heart and I love this fucking cover. I really do. I really do. Um, bonus, um, bonus digital edition included. I don't even know if it's in here. I do not know. I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't I don't think that thing is in here. I think someone that used to have this just took it. I mean, I would. Oh. <laughs> would you? Uh, you see, this is the picture where it shows Godzilla hibernating while the planet's being created. And stuff like that. So, I do not know why. Uh, is this a... Oh, get your digital copy. Okay. So... Look at the look at the artwork here though. The artwork in this is really really beautiful. Look at this. Look 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 at the artwork in the back of this. You see this? Really really beautiful. Really really beautiful. And you got like this little monarch thing, like FBI type stuff. That's really cool. That's really dope. Huh? Is there really something in? Oh no, this is a bookmark. <laughs> I left the bookmark here. What is this? Oh, wow. Stuff that I, I was going to buy. So, I think it's right here where people did not like the uh, the storytelling here. Um, I mean, it's not bad, the storytelling. I, I've read worse, people. Like, I, I don't know. People always want fine wine. You, you do realize this is a monster comic book, right? But wh whatever, right? Wh whatever. People want Shakespeare in their Godzilla movies. Since, since, since when? What? If you really want to see something like that, watch the original. Seriously. But the original is depressing. Then what do you want? Then what do you want? Then, then just watch the newest Godzilla movie that came out in theaters. It's, it's about to be re-released again, just so you know. Alright? See? They show it right here. How over the years, Godzilla was just being born and hibernating in the planet and stuff like that. Feeding off of it. Feeding off the radiation from it because he's radioactive and stuff like that. So... 
They, they did. A lot of people did not like this part. They were like, you fucked it up. You read con dance and stuff like that. But me, I'm only here like, good. Good. All right. I'm glad they did that. Seriously. All right. Godzilla um, fighting like this bug monster, which is really cool. Reminds me of um the Godzilla 1998 um, animated series that came out. Um, a while back. It, it, yeah, that came out in the 90s and stuff like that. So, really fun. Really fun to read, in my opinion. I love seeing Godzilla do his thing and stuff like that. That's just me. And it is licensed by Legendary and one of those. So, there is that. Just so you know. And no, it doesn't show... It does show the Toho uh, logo of um Godzilla, but... I could say Toho, but it didn't say Toho, so I guess it's owned by Godzilla now. Finally. Finally, he took those people to court. Oh. <laughs> um, in the last Godzilla comic book that I have is Godzilla Aftershock. I, I wanted to get this book so bad when I first heard about it. And it is good. It's good. It's, ba it's a prequel to Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019. So... It looks good. It, is, it says here, of the official prequel graphic novel to Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It says it right there. It says it right here. Right there. And I really, uh, I really love, like, we talked about the other one being really good. Um, artwork. This one has beautiful artwork. This one right here, when they talk about Godzilla being Dagon. His um ancestor before um Godzilla got reincarnated and stuff like that. So this one's really good. This one uh, he's fighting like the the big giant Muto. This one. This one shows um what happened and stuff like that. This I think this has like two fights at their show. Like these like Godzilla's fighting that Muto that killed one of his ancestors. Or maybe this is... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. see, they go back. Yeah, they go back and talk about it. Stuff like that. The ancient history between them. Yeah, yeah. Then Godzilla died. And stuff like that. Yeah, this happened all ancient and stuff like that. Okay, yeah. So this was taking place... So after Godzilla... So, at, um, so before Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019, Godzilla was going after the the the... The big giant king or queen Muto, whatever it is. But, um, the big giant Muto. So, th this would have been a great, uh, anime series, too. Because it, the illustrations on the characters are really spot on. They got the, um, act the actors, um, faces really good, you know? They're not, they didn't fuck up their face or anything like that just because they couldn't get the rights to them. They were like, nah, man, just put them in there. And they, they're about to fight. And like in a rainy storm and shit like that. That's great. I love looking at this because it's like watching a whole other aspect of, of the Godzilla movies and stuff like that. This is great. This is fucking great. Then you see them fighting and stuff like that. This is just good. This is a good comic book, man. Really good comic book. Even when... What is it? The people that hated this comic book praise this comic book. They literally are like, fuck you. <laughs> But me, I'm only here like, I love both of you. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and be safe.